Pisces, and welcome to your weekly reading with me, Natalie, spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. I am here. Ta-da! I'm here to do your weekly reading. I've removed all of the times and dates on the titles of these readings, so whenever you fall into this beautiful little video reading is when you are meant to hear these messages, my dear. I'm picking up this Mercury shifting into Pisces, the sign that it's going to be retrograding in, which is your sign. It's your first house of the self. It's who you are. It's your identity. Okay. And the fact that we have Mercury entering Pisces today when I'm recording this video, and then the fact that we have Mercury retrograding in Pisces going in apparent backwards motion in the sky from our view here on earth, and then moving direct again dipping into Aquarius very briefly, this is telling us that there is an amazing opportunity for you to correct something, to rework something. And tuning into your energies, Pisces, I'm picking up a lot of fears. A lot of fears about changing yourself, um, being honest about, not even with yourself, inside of yourself, but about certain things, certain situations and people, events of the past, things of the future. It's, it feels like a fear that needs soothing, not like an angry fear, more like a fear that is actually just needing to be talked down off the ledge, like really assuaged and really comforted is this is what it's searching for. So underneath the fear, you're actually just searching for reassurance, Pisces. So let's go ahead and do our pre-shuffle and begin this reading to see two cards coming out. This is so weird, Pisces. We have two kings. We have the king of swords and the king of cups, the king of chalices. I don't know if I've ever gotten two kings like this before. Coming out the first straight out the gate in the beginning of the reading and then, you know, together. It's a war within yourself. I thought maybe this is you with someone. This is difficult. This is almost like, is it going to be a head over heart or heart over head decision? Or you're fighting with yourself. It's like your mental capacity, your mental, your mind and your heart. Or people representing these aspects of yourself. Three of Swords. Aha. There's three cards total. There's the Three of Swords, the Moon, and the Queen of Swords. Check that out. Now we have a counterpart to one of our kings. We have the Queen of Swords. Is this your fear? Because this actually feels more like a threat, Pisces. This feels like, because with this queen of swords here, she's, look at, look at her. I mean, she's just not going to let anyone get away with anything forever or any, for nothing. I mean, she's just like off with his head. We'll get questions and evidence later. We're just going to remove the threat right now. And that's kind of how I feel with her. And maybe it's because she's surrounded by the Three of Swords and the Moon. It's almost like she wants to cut through the heartbreak, cut through the tears, cut through the confusion. And I'm still getting the same energy of kind of fighting with the emotion here. Because here we have the... Here we have the two kings. The king of the mind and the king of the heart duking it out. And then over here we have the queen of the mind and duking it out with an intuition, with feeling her way forward, with feeling the loss and feeling the heartbreak. It's like you're trying to actually shield yourself and lie to yourself, Pisces. There's a part, there's something you're not wanting to face. This is your fear here. Interesting, you're trying to be logical. You're actually trying to make this a mental decision. 
and you really are trying to ignore how you feel about it and the feelings that it evokes. You really are trying to be, you're trying to be cutthroat, but it's, it's not really suiting you. And not because you're like this free love Pisces person. It's more about you're trying to make sense. You're not trying to be ruthless. You're not trying to be severe. You're not trying to be evil. You're trying to make sense. You're trying to, sorry, you're trying to do what's best for yourself. You're trying to make the right choice, the right decisions. However, you don't have all the information available to you because you are discrediting or discounting the emotional information, your own instincts, your own emotional reactions, your own emotional feelings. You're trying to cut it down. And even these two kings, they are sort of similar. They are very similar in terms of they both don't let their feelings show. They're both not going to let you know, you know, what they really feel, what they really think about something. And we have two more cards. We have the Knight of Staves and we have the Six of Pentacles. This is rushing in with help. There's help rushing in here. And it feels like it's right when you're in the middle of this incredibly complex internal, it's like you're fighting with yourself. And as you're fighting with yourself, someone extends an olive branch. Someone extends, what's that? Where'd that come from? I think that's lipstick or something, right? Now I have to wipe it off on camera so you guys can see that when I find a stain, I get rid of it immediately. <laughs> okay, Pisces, I'm just playing with you. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely, we're going to dig into this in the extended. The extended will be a full spread. It'll be a Celtic cross with two different decks of cards with an overlay and as well as Oracle cards to get some advice. Definitely needing advice on this. There's, there's an issue here and it has to do with who you are. It has to do with your personality. It has to do with your character and how you are presenting yourself to the world. If you're doing that accurately, authentically, but it first starts with being authentic with yourself, Pisces. And that's what I see here is that you're not being honest with yourself. You're not being upfront with yourself. You're not being real with yourself. And that's, I'm feeling the fear again. It's like, you don't want to be, you don't want to know. You don't want to uncover any more traumas. You don't want to uncover any more pain, heartbreak or fear or loss or grief or shame. You really don't want to go there. You're just trying to do the best you can with what you have without having to do that hard gritty work and I'm here to tell you Pisces that you can you can approach the bench you can really this is going to make you closer with yourself when you approach this from maybe a sidewise perspective or on the side an indirect perspective here because it's almost like that's how help is coming to you it's coming in through the side with this six of pentacles and this knight of staves I feel like it's actually going to be a little bit unexpected. I feel like you're so into your own internal turmoil where you're trying to figure out right, wrong, this, that, up, down, near, far, you're, you know, right, wrong, left, right, feeling, mentality, heart, you know, it's like, you know, you're in the middle of this going back and forth with yourself about yourself. And you can't, you're trying your hardest to actually just be the king and queen of swords. You just want to be like this. You just want to be cold, calculating and clear and cut through everything else with your logic. And actually it's all of this that's like seeping in at the seams. It's just melting into your consciousness that you can't escape. You can't compartmentalize your emotions. You just can't ignore your intuition you can't not feel the heartbreak all of that's trying to break into your consciousness pisces so 
let up on yourself a little bit, give yourself a bit of a break and use this Mercury retrograde to explore that very thing that you don't want to explore about yourself, okay? I know, we're gonna dip into the extended to see what the help is. I really want to expand more on what this is because I feel like you're gonna be a little bit gridlocked in this energy. You're still not gonna know what to do or what to think until April 1st when Mercury is completely out of the shadow period and completely direct. So I wouldn't base any big decisions until April. Okay, so let's see what this help is to help navigate you through this Mercury retrograde period in the extended. If it's resonating, I'll see you over there shortly. If not, my dears, I will see you next week for your weekly reading. Next week, Pisces. Bye. You've recently overcome a major scare. It seems like it was just a scare because you came through. You pulled through. You worked really hard. You, you are very endearing to this person. Okay? They like you very much. They like you very much. It's almost like you're making things harder for yourself, Pisces. And it's like with this person, you now have the last tool 